All right, everybody. This is John Fulkerson. He's a senior with us. Uh, we'll start with Grant Ramey. John, what do you got? Oh, there's no one. can see people on here. There might be a okay. whole host of folks on here. Okay. John, what about this game? What, what do you guys learn from this game, I guess, at this time of year when, when everything starts turning the attention toward March and, and the postseason? What do you learn from this kind of performance? I think the biggest thing is we got to come ready to play every game and we can't take any team lightly. And with it being March now, today's March 1st, that um, we have to be locked in because at this point in our season, our next game could be our last game. And so we got to treat it like that and just approach every game um, with the locked in mindset. Yeah, John, I'm, I'm not sure how many places in the SEC you, you've not won at, but this had been one of them. You know, I know it wasn't the, the best performance tonight for y'all as a team, but did it good to finally leave that place with a win? It was. Um, it's great to win on the road because for us, you know, we, we try to protect, protect our home court. So win on the road is always great. It's always, uh, it's always a good thing to win on the road. Hey, John, I, I want to ask you about Zakai real quick. Uh, you guys probably found out, you know, over the last couple of days about his family house in New York. Uh, how did you guys kind of help him out in any way possible emotionally uh, over the last few days before he got to see his mom today? I think just being for them, being there for him, when whatever he needs, whenever he needs it, and just having to build him with confidence, uplift him. Um, really, we can't really put ourselves in that position because I haven't been through it. Um, but just being uh, positive, being there for him whenever he needs it. Let's go, Reese Grant. Uh, Folky, Coach Barnes said that uh, the team has to, the guards have to do a better job of getting the ball into the post. How do you make that easier for your guards? Obviously, he said they're not passing it to you exactly how you want it, but how do you make it easier for them to get it to you? Hey, can you lean a little bit one way? Yeah. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I, I'm talking about. I'm trying to see what's behind you. Uh, oh, you got you got Butch Jones behind yeah, you. Yeah, that's Butch. Hey, hey, he used to coach football at Tennessee. He did. <laughs> that was. Uh, I was here when he was here. <laughs> uh, did you get my? Uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. One, one, I saw Butch in my. Uh, no, you're totally. To that. Sorry, can you ask your question again? Yeah. So Coach Barnes said that uh, the guards have to do a better job of getting the ball into the post to you. Uh, obviously, it's their job to get it where you like it, but how do you make it easier for them? Um, I think that's just on me and the post as much as it is on the guards that we have to make ourselves available and we have to want the ball. So um, it's just as much on the postman as it, on, as it is on the guards that we got to demand the ball, we got to want the ball and uh, give our guards confidence uh, to throw it to us. John, have you ever seen Josiah in a hat streak? Cause about as hot as he was there for a few minutes in the second half. Excuse me? Josiah, have you ever seen him go off like that? Um, maybe. I can't remember right now. Um, but we, we all know Josiah is capable of that. And uh, we have a lot of people on our team that are capable of that. But um, Josiah has put a lot of work in. And um, just to see it pay off, we know um, – you know, we, we could and do expect that from him every night. Wes? Yeah, Folky, I know y'all maybe need a little bit of a, a break with some of the other games there, but but you have a chance maybe Saturday if things go y'all's way to, to play for an SEC championship at home. Uh, I know it's it's been a long career for you. Is, is that is that kind of why you came back to Tennessee, one of the reasons to, to have a chance to, to maybe win an SEC title on the home floor? Um. I mean, there was a million different reasons I came back to Tennessee and, um, you know, winning a lot of basketball games, winning the SEC, winning the regular season, the tournament, you know, doing some um, going deep in the NCAA tournament, you know, those are all part of them. And so we have, you know, this uh, opportunity in front of us and, um, you know, it'd be great to get that done. Great, you got one? Yeah, John, how much have you enjoyed this season after everything that was so much different last year and all the, I guess, frustrations that came with last year and the ups and downs? How much have you enjoyed kind of this, this ride? Um, 
I mean, it, it's almost like night and day. And no offense to uh, last year. I was actually just talking to Mike about this. Mike, is Mike on here? You went to talk to players, but yeah. Oh, so, um, yeah, I was talking about this. And really, we're talking about the atmosphere of the last few games in TBA. And even with the most crowded game um, last year in TBA, I mean, it, it doesn't even compare. And... Um, just having that atmosphere in TBA and even on the road too, um, having fans there and being able to travel and actually spend time with each other. I mean, I mean, there's a lot of different reasons why, um, you know, so much more fun uh, this season. Um, just last year with COVID, it was it was just so different. Uh, I'm glad that's behind us now. All right. Thank you, John. Thank you.